everyone, this is Apple at iOS Genius on the YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over through the quick tour of the Apple Configurator 2. Uh, well, so from Yosemite they went up to uh, El Capitan, and then from El Capitan you have to upgrade your Apple Configurator to version 2. Uh, so anyways, here as we go, this is the tour that they provide you. They're saying, welcome to Apple Configurator 2, the new app for configuring your iOS devices. So basically, before I even had to go here, I had to migrate my old data from Apple Configurator 1.4 or 1.5 uh, to 2. Uh, as you can see, it has other details and more details. It states, explores a device configuration. Uh, it looks a lot like uh, iTunes, but also you can see the specifications of the iPad about tech info serial number ICCD and then there's also what they say is there's an app for that install your personal or volume purchase program apps select the devices you like to configure click the add apps and your Mac your personal purchase history this is pretty cool uh, now they also they have profiles that you can also raise uh, which are the existing same profile seems to be from previous uh, gen on the Apple configurator uh, except it looks like it's just a little bit more nicer, clean look and so forth. Uh, and also in regards to the wallpaper, you know how we always get that green wallpaper and then we have our uh, device, uh, say Cart 6, uh, iPad 1, it looks like you can actually customize it within the wallpaper of the home screen. Uh, it looks like you're also being prepared for being supervisor and rolling devices. Uh, here you can actually check mark all the devices or items you want to supervise or even remove from your uh, MDM server. So that's kind of interesting. And then it looks like the search is on, uh, search tag and favorite. Find your favorite connected devices, tag them with keywords and save them searches for easy filtering. Hmm. I don't know what this really is for, but uh, it'll be kind of interesting to look at. Then they have a configure, rinse and repeat. Blueprints allows you to create custom configuration workflows, choose new blueprint, from the file menu, select devices, blueprints, and apply the blueprint. So the blueprint is probably like the actual image, uh, how you're deploying it, uh, and re restoring the device. So this is the app configurator too. Start using the all new app. So this is basically the walkthrough of the quick tour that they have. Uh, this is an automated tour that uh, Apple configurator opens up and previews you for. And uh, this seems like a really good idea. I wonder if this is being involved or included because they're going to go with iOS 9. That is to be per se an app, uh, an app less Apple ID. So that means you won't technically will be using Apple IDs anymore. Uh, it'll just basically go to the iPad device by the uh, the U. What is that? UUID. It's like a universal unique ID. I think it's called. And that is being uh, recorded and what apps are going to be deployed to that specific device. Um, but anyways, I'll be checking this out later tonight. Uh, it is actually Tuesday, the 6th of 2015. Uh, feel free to leave your comments and suggestions in the bottom. Feel free to subscribe as well to find uh, more and interesting facts on Apple Configurator 2 uh, on the El Capitan on your Mac. And we can see how this better benefits for you in going to an MDM solution or just staying with the standard uh, Apple Configurator 2 and just using that. Uh, again, thanks. This is uh, Apple at iOS Genius on the YouTube channel.